Hey y'all. Okay, I'm back for a short unboxing from Fat Quarter Shop. Um, this isn't my... There's a fly. There, this isn't my so sampler. It has not shipped yet. I don't know. Normally it ships out the same day or next day. I don't know what the deal is. So this is going to be my quilt kit. I'm going to open it real fast. I wanted to show y'all. I posted, I, I recorded a video last night after the, um, after I did my little tour around everywhere, but I haven't posted it because I don't know if it's really, I don't know. I don't know if it's needed. It was kind of going over and showing or telling about what, what is that? There's like something inside. Anyways, it's like showing about, telling about what I'm going to be doing. Like with that, um, pixel, that Santa pixel quilt, quilt that, um, I'm going to be cutting that and just things I'm going to be doing, but. Okay, so this is the Berry Season Quilt Kit by Robert Kaufman Fabrics. It was $121, but then with tax, $132 is $10.06 for tax. It is the Berry Season. I figured this would go so cute. I want to make this and then I kind of hang it behind me since it's, you know, strawberries. But, um... I've looked at this quilt kit before and I never bought it, but I bought it this time. I was looking at another one and it was, it was a more expensive, but this one just, it's just the same strawberries over and over. What size did I get? I don't know what size. Cause there's a pillow, a lap quilt and a picnic quilt. I don't know what size. Uh -oh. Unless they're doing the lap quilt, I don't know because there's 25 pieces in here, so I don't know. There's a lot of pretty different fabrics. You can see the textures. Hey, gum it, yeah. So it includes, I think, everything but the ba uh, backing and batting. So, um, is this the seed fabric? I guess I'll measure my seed fabric and figure out because the, there's a pillow, which is an 18 by 18, a lap quilt, which is a 54 64, and a picnic quilt, which is 74 76. So, this it let me take this out i don't know and it doesn't say on there it just said i guess i'll probably have to go back to my account you don't see that go back to my account and figure out which one that they send can y'all see that anyways so it says you could do the scrappy quilt option the materials require Requirements for the pillow in the chart above show the amount for amount of seed berry and stem fibers to make a single block. So make a scrappy lap quilt with 20 of each of these pieces or a scrappy picnic quilt with 35 of each of these pieces. So so I guess it is a, it's probably a lap quilt is what I'm thinking. Cause I only have 25 pieces. I could be wrong. I don't know. I bet it's the lap. Um, I know they did the binding, but I'm thinking about, I may put a border around this just to make it a little bit, um, bigger. I don't know. Once I get it pieced together, I'll figure out. Because I'm sure I can buy the binding fabric. I can buy a little bit more of it off. So, look at that. Isn't that cute? And then it shows, yeah, so. 
So I'm excited about this. I don't know when I'll start it. Hopefully soon. There is so much. So I was saying last night in that video that if y'all don't see many videos from me in the next coming days or whatever, I'm, I'm getting kind of busy. So I will be, um, I will be, I wasn't going to really do a garden this year, but I kind of changed my mind. So but this is the, the kit right here. And you get this off Backwater Shop and I will go ahead and link it down in the description for y'all. That way, in case anybody wants it. But anyways, um, and I love the pink, like, or the strawberry color box, strawberry red block box. But I was saying that I've got to get some stuff planted, um, and that will might take up some of my time for a little bit, trying to get things planted, but then it'll, I'll have that lull waiting for everything to, you know, um, mature and then I harvest. I do want to do some videos of when I harvest and maybe even like of course when I can. I'm planning on trying to go down to a berry farm down the road from me the end of the week. Um, I'm going to hopefully pick some blackberries and blueberries. I hope. I don't need any for jelly because I think last season I got strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries and I think I canned like 70 something. It was nearly 80 jars of the little half um, half pint. They weren't the big ones, they were the small ones. But I can like almost 80 jars of jam. Of I don't I don't make jelly because I don't like I like to have all the seeds and all that good stuff in there. So I canned all that for jelly. So we still have plenty. I don't need any. But I would I want to go get some for my freezer because I like to make pies and muffins and stuff like that. And um, there's also a little farm stand down about it's. In a different little town but i want to go get when they have their strawberries i want to go get some straw fresh strawberries and i need to go to my farmer's market and see if they have any because um i want to get some of that fresh fruit for my freezer so anyways i think i may need to click, pick those plums that i showed y'all yesterday i mean i may need to go pick them and put them in the freezer i don't have enough for plum jelly yet my husband's favorite i don't have enough but that's okay but anyways, um, so if y'all don't see me a lot the next couple of days, that's probably why. I know my daughter's got a game tonight and she doesn't want to play. Like She's like so over it because the rain has just destroyed the season. But um, she's supposed to have a game tonight that I'm, she, I'm making her go to. But um, hopefully we'll have time when I get back to maybe plant some stuff. But tomorrow evening I'll be planting stuff. And then we're supposed to get rain Wednesday and Thursday. So, it's, I don't know. Hopefully, I get some more stuff planned. And I'm, like I said, I told my husband, I said, I'm about to put you to work. You're going to, um, I'm going to make you help me. <laughs> Not make him, but, you know, have him help me to kind of cut down on the amount of time. Because with my back messed up the way it was messed up, I don't know how well it's going to be doing. Because it's already stiff this morning just from picking those onions and those um, potatoes. And I also have got to clean all those potatoes. And um, I think I want to dehydrate some. I think I want to, because I got my mandolin, I think I'm going to slice them and dehydrate them. And kind of like for, you know, you know those little packages you get that you can make the um, scallop potatoes? That's what I think I'm going to do with some of them is dehydrate them. And then I wish I had more green beans ready because those little bitty ones I have, those would have been good to can with my green beans, which I'm, I'm I can still do that, but I need to find, a, I have to have a find a place to, um, I need to clear up a place and put down something to where they can sit and they don't get old, you know, so I got to figure that out. I know I've canned potatoes and I may can some because I canned them in the past. And that, of course, they make really, for mashed potatoes, are really quick because they're already soft and you just get them hot, you know. But um, I got to look into some different ways to preserve them because I don't, our place is so small that I don't have a great big place. I don't have any, and it gets too hot here in Texas to put them outside to even get airflow, they'll rot. And um, I got to, also, my little onions that y'all saw last night, the small ones, 
that really aren't good for much, I'm gonna, uh, like I said, I'm gonna slice them up and put them in the dehydrator. And then the others, I'll leave some out to use fresh, but the others I'm just gonna slice up and throw in the freezer. And um, I'll put some, like dice some up, and then some I'll slice. Cause I like, like when I make my squash, like saute squash, I like to have nice sized chunks of onions in those, but not that y'all want, I know that y'all, that doesn't, that doesn't pertain to what I'm doing. I'm just kind of letting y'all know, um, why I may be a little distant. I'm hoping my so sampler box ships soon. I'm like, I don't know why it hasn't. I paid it on Friday. Normally it ships. So hopefully I'll get that sometime this week. I am wanting to do the bobbin blooms. I am uh, planning on doing that, sitting down to do that. Hopefully Wednesday or Thursday. I do need to cut for block four of Swinging on a Star. I wanted to do that today, but I had a phone call from a friend I haven't talked to in a long time. And we've been on the phone all morning. So now, like my daughter's school, she has options. Like I can teach her myself or put her on the academy. To where the teacher teaches her and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put her at the table and the teacher to kind of teach her today because I got a ton of chores to do around the house before tonight. So, um, and it's like one o'clock and I still haven't eaten anything today. So I'm like, I'm getting kind of hungry. Um, so I'm going to do that, but I don't know if I'll get to it today. I'll for sure get to it tomorrow. So if there's not, I'll just say, you know what? It'll be tomorrow for this swinging on a star. I'm not even going to try to fit it in today. So, it'll be sometime tomorrow. Um, maybe tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. But I will get that done. And then, um, I'll get that sewn sometime towards the end of the week. The bob, the bob and blooms. Hopefully, it may be Wednesday or Thursday for that. Um... They thought about, they're thinking about playing on Thursday. But I'm supposed to go to my aunt. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure that out. But I will. Hopefully Wednesday I can do the Bob and Blooms. Or Bloom and Bob. Whatever. I can never get the name right. But that one I'll hopefully um, get. So I want to sew at least one block. Hopefully I'll do that Wednesday. So, um. Yeah, I've got, and it's like, it wasn't so bad in all these games. And see, she's not wanting to play because last Tuesday she went to practice. And that's when she got really sick. And she's like, I don't want to get sick again. So I'm like, no, you're going to play. I think she'll have fun. But they have three weeks, this week, next week, and the week after. And then she's going to be done because then she goes to church camp. She can't make it, play all those makeup games. So anyways, so just a heads up that if I don't post a lot, like every day like I have been that's why um I will catch back up I know I'm on the pixel Santa I will be cutting but that will be off camera because I have I really want to make sure that everything is right and I did or I did order something else from Fat Quarter Shop this morning their um daily deals or their flash sales they had a really nice Fat Quarter bundle that it, I loved all their fabric it was like $21 they also had, and I'm thinking that somebody else might have, this is the box they were talking about. It's from Lori Holt, and it slides out and has all these little dividers. That was normally like 30 something dollars, and I think I got it for like 12 bucks. So I got that to put in for the Pixel Santa, and I'll do the unboxing. And then I got something else in there with that. But I will show y'all all that when I get that in, and it'll, it'll be in here this week. Because like I said, I ordered this Saturday morning and it's already here. But that's one plus about being in the same state as Fat Quarter Shop. Because they're in Texas. And I guess they're in Texas. I would think they are. Because as soon as it ships, it goes to Austin. And then it comes up to me. So, I get it pretty quick. So, I will do an unboxing on that this week. I will do the unboxing on, if it comes, the a sew sampler. I will have the cutting for the Swinging on the Star. I'll do at least one of the Bobbin Blooms. And I think that might be it. That should, if I do more, you'll know. But that's just kind of a heads up of what I'm thinking right now. So, anyways. Um, well, thank you for all of your comments on my little video from yesterday. I am sorry that it was so, 
my daughter watched it back and I'm like, oh my gosh, I was all over the place worse than I was. Y'all saw it my nose and <laughs> everything else. I'm not good at holding the camera and walking. I'm just, I'm one of those that I can't chew gum and walk at the same time. So anyways, um, let me know if y'all are interested in do if, you know, when I do the cannings and stuff like that and I'll bring y'all along for those too. Y'all just let me know. Um, those won't be all the time. They'll be scattered in here and there, but this is mainly for <clears throat> the sewing. But um, that's another big part of me too is my animals and my little garden and stuff like that. So anyways, um, I will talk to y'all or I will see y'all, whatever. Y'all will see me. I will see y'all um, for sure tomorrow because I will post a video tomorrow. This may be my only, this is probably my own, only video today because I'm so behind. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all are having a wonderful Monday. It's beautiful here in Texas. Again, it's warm, but it's pretty and I'll take it. We're supposed to get severe storms later in the week. And I think there's some severe storms in the northern above us. Uh, today or tomorrow and then we get it Wednesday to Thursday. That's supposed to be really bad. So I'm so ready for storm season to be over. Who else is with me on that? So let me know what y'all think on this and let me know if y'all have done this quilt. The what was it called? The berry season quilt kit. I think it might be an older one. So let me know if y'all have done this quilt or if y'all have it and want to do it along with me. I'm excited about doing this. I want this as a kind of like a backdrop. And like I said, I may add a border. I may add a one thin border and then a bigger border just to make it a little bit, the quilt's a little bigger than it is. And then I can always buy the binding. So um, I'm excited about starting it. So this, be on the lookout for this too because I want to get it done so I can get it hung because it kind of matches my whole name and all that. Okay. Well, I will shut up now, and I will talk to y'all, or I'll see y'all soon. Um, and like I've mentioned, if you haven't, and if you want to, you can go over to YouTube at Sweet Home Sewing Dash Lauren Young, and it is a private group, so nobody can see you're in it. Nobody, no, they can see that you're in it, but they can't see what anybody's posting. There are a couple of questions just to keep out the hackers or the spam or whatever, but it is an extension of this Facebook group, and people are posting beautiful projects. That they've been working on and people are asking if they're if someone if you know if you're if anybody else is doing this and they're asking for advice and it's a fun little group um i'm enjoying it so if you want to do that go you know i can also post the link if y'all want me to to y'all if y'all are interested so um there's that and um yeah i guess that's it for now i will talk to y'all soon have a wonderful monday and have a wonderful week bye guys